Good morning, everybody. Just in time for me to have breakfast. I know I'm having some cereal and my lactose. You know I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to buy expensive milk and drink a different milk from everybody else. So, so that's why. So now I'm warming my milk because I like to. Every morning I like to have warm milk. With my cereal, I don't like to have cold milk. And this is my body wants it, then I'll just drink it. But otherwise, I'm always having warm milk. It's good for you. Well, let's go get our cereal. Because right now I'm having honey branches. Half out, so I'm having the healthy one. So I like this cereal. I really like this type of cereal. It's very, very good. It's very whole wheat, it's like a whole wheat type. So that's what I'm doing right now. Having some whole wheat cereal. I first was introduced to it, I was saving foods, I went there and I saw it on TV actually and then I decided, let me try it because it was like hard. I used to mostly try um, Honey Nut Cheerio, Honey Nut Cheerio, yeah, and I decided to try a different one, more healthier one than the normal one I'm eating. So I used to go collards, cowards, cornflakes. I used to love that. But since I have a whole eczema problem, I started taking a lot of sugar out of my diet and, you know, just sticking with the regular, with the regular whole wheat here, holy bread. I still try a white bread once in a while, which I have some now, but I mostly stick with the whole wheel. Okay, I need to help open this. One sec. And it's very tasty. You know where I got it? I got it from Dollar Mama. Seriously. Dollar Tree having them now. Dollar Tree no changing now. It's having a lot of food stuff. From Dollar Rama and Dollar Tree, they have bread now, so it's like a food hall right now at the Dollar Tree. So let's give it a try. This is it. So let's give it a try. Mmm. 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 Okay. Mmm. 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 So, this is what I both have. Mm -hmm. I have to eat it. It's not so hot. I'm cleaning right now. And I'm going to be washing some clothes. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking some sweater outside and let me turn your light on because it's pretty dark here. And I'm going to be washing these sweaters. I have a lot because the reason I want to wash these sweaters because it's like it's summer, it's spring I should say. And it's kind of chilly out there. So that's why I'm, I'm washing the sweaters. Okay. I already checked them for anything in there. So there's nothing in the pockets. Like right now, it's, we're at like early, early, early spring.
Okay, and now we're heading back in. Trying to get those clothes in the machine. And I am cleaning my house. I'm pretty messy in my house, let me tell you. I am always messy. Look at my couch. Because <laughs> I'm mostly in my couch all the time. I'm hardy. Mm. I'm back in my film. Mm -hmm. Trust me, these zeros are Dollar Tree. Mm. Something I wrote in the Bible this morning. I don't know how it was. I don't know if you saw my blog about a bad roommate. And <clears throat> I had so much bad people in my life that I don't know why I was being so abused all the time by them. Uh, people, close family, you know, they always say some bad things to me and bad things about me. I always wonder why I'm always going through that. Mm -hmm. Some of them are Christian people. And I just wonder why. Like, I think today, this morning now, I read John 16. And it said, you know, Jesus spoke and he said, um, you know the reason why people treat you like that because you could look it up, John 16, 1 and 2. And say, so, you know, the reason why people treat you bad because they don't know God, they don't know the Lord, and they don't live by Him or they don't obey Him. So that's why people treat you the way they do. If I, if I know God and say they believe in God, they will never treat you the way they do. And that really opened my mind. Really, really had me thinking that you know they never know God, you know, just they think they did, but they didn't, and that's why they treat you like that. So that's why that's what I got out of it. And I was happy I read it, it's like the Holy Spirit just put me in the like, tell me to just go to John 16, you know, and I was so happy because now I'm I feel so good in my spirit, like. I can move on, you know, just to say why they were treating me this way. And even if they're Christian, it's like, you don't know the word of God. And you don't know, you know, you never even love God. You say you love him, but you treat your sister and your brother bad. And that's not something for you to do. So I was really happy that I read it. So, I'm finishing up my cereal. Mmm. I even got bread at the Dollar Tree, you guys. A lot of different type of bread. They have white bread, they have whole wheat bread. So if you're like a person that really don't want to spend too much at Walmart or Superstore. Mm. The Dollar Tree is there for you. I bought a broom. If you saw my other blog, I bought a broom from them. Um, the only thing I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy a broom from there because it's not like the top's like flipping off. I'm like, what? So I wouldn't buy that. I'm hungry, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe last year. Last year, um, spring, not spring, the, the whole of, Chris, the whole of, um, when winter started, we have, like, it wasn't even bad. Last year was bad. This year, I'm surprised that we get spring so early, and it's so nice, especially in February, January. I'm telling you, up here in AB, it's really nice. I asked my friend. One of those girls on my Facebook that live in um that live in Toronto. And I'm like, how's the weather there? And she's like, Oh, there's a lot of snow and everything. I'm like, Really? 
and like in day B is like really good. I haven't gone to the living room. But we're lucky, you know. So one other thing I wanted to bake today was anybody know potato cake? Potato pone? I wanna make that. I love that. That's my favorite. Mm. I'm still grabbing all that my food. Mm -hmm. I was for you to come back, but I want you to go buy it so that's not easy. Mm, this is good. It's not like I still have the sugar in it or the honey. You could taste it. I'm telling you where they got it at. It has, um, I made it for corn. It has whole grain, whole wheat, sugar, whole grain, rolls. I think I'm going to have some more. Let me finish this one first. It's good. Let me tell you. I'm going to do the worst. Mm. Mm. Sorry, you guys. Mm. It's good. But I'm cleaning my kitchen right now. If you watch all my blogs, I'm cleaning my kitchen. I'm cleaning my house. <laughs> That's how messy I am, you know? <clears throat> no, seriously, look outside. It's so nice outside. It's, and it's so nice out there. Trust me. It's not even that cold. It's like you could just go in a tiny little jacket and it's like really, really good. It's really nice out there. I went out there with just my tank. You can see my tank top, and it was like really nice out there. So, I'm gonna put my ball off because I'm gonna watch a movie right now. So, um, I'll come back later. Which I'm gonna unravel my Christmas tree. It's still there. So,. I need to take it apart, take off everything off of it. Let me get the box right now. So you guys can help me while I do it. In my, this is my, my storage, you guys. I save bottles to take back and you get paid for it. You take it to the bottle depot and... You, get, you literally get paid for all the like because when you go to the store you're like you're really like you're really like um paying for the bottle you're paying for everyone and then when you take it to the bottle people when you take it to the bottle people then now They'll pay you for it. So I'm just taking the Christmas tree apart. Oof. This is a lot. Okay, I'm taking it down. You can use stars off. I'm taking my Christmas tree off in the end of February. That is 
is so bad. I have seen Christmas trees still up. Mine's not that bad. There's people still have their Christmas tree up that don't even take it down. But I need the space in my house, so I have to take it down. My rank in here is not bad. It's like, I'm lucky. I'm so lucky to be paying like $600 for my one bedroom apartment here. Because it's in a city, you know, in a city, it's, it's cheaper to live. It's cheaper to live in a city. But I know a lot of people say city is really crazy, but paying six grand, that's not bad. And it's pretty nice, you know, it's pretty nice, decent living place. When I, before I first got mine, I was supposed to get another place before. But up here, they had a lot of bed bugs in Edmonton. And I didn't want it in a carpet in my place because I know bed bugs come, you know, a carpet there and they sleep and they lay all the eggs and you would have all this this bed box baby and I didn't want a couch in my living room or in so I got the floor so I just got the floor the regular brown flooring so I was like pretty happy with it okay how do I put it down now oh okay here we go I'm trying to take it off, you guys. We just unravel our first Christmas tree. Yeah. We put it upwards. That was great. But then we put it down. Yeah, girl, I did it. Even though it's supposed to be in a box and flat, but you know. Your girl did a good job. And so put it in the storage. Be right back. just unravel her Christmas tree and here we go in the storage there we go and as I tell you I got this thing for my next channel my food channel but I haven't then I got the juicer I got some extra plate from Walmart and some what's it called George Freeman grill and I got the pressure cooker but it break apart and I got the printer I got some extra glass slow cooker, some extra wine glass, and I had a Monopoly game, yeah, and a vacuum, I'm going to need that one, so I'm struggling taking the uh, vacuum out, hmm. I am taking the vacuum out right now, so here we go, Brought your bug out, giving me a hard time to take you out. But yes, there we go. There we go, babe. We got it. Ew. I just poured it in the stinks. <sighs> That's nasty. But guess what, girls? I'm just gonna relax, finish washing, and then vacuuming. 
my place, finish cleaning, then vacuuming, and then so subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this. Please leave a comment, you know, let me know how I'm doing. If it's bad or good, at least I would know. You could say maybe you would need to put little things more. Or maybe you should talk about something else. It's okay. I don't feel bad, you know. Just, at least, you know, sometimes the comment really helps. So, I have not done a taste test in a while. So, I'm going to be doing a taste test, you know. Maybe tomorrow's vlog. So, see ya. Peace out.